Hello brothers and sisters, it's July 29th, uh, thunderstorming outside, so I really hope that the Lord cracks them skies tonight, but if he doesn't, I will patiently wait till when I see my Lord another day. Um, remember I was telling you guys last time that I, uh, in the last video I think it was, or the one before that, that I wanted the Lord to give me more trials and more, more testing, because I know the more, he won't, he won't give us, he gives us what we can handle. But if we ask for more and we are victorious and more, our rewards are more, guys, in heaven. So I ask for more. I said, give me all you got. I want it. And let's just say, brothers and sisters, that I I got a lot more. I got a lot more. Um, my goodness, just a few of the experiences. Like I remember I told you guys about uh, the fallen angel Tiamat holding me down and I got rid of it. And I thought a lesser one had stayed behind. But after I had said that I wanted more, temp I mean more trials uh, to prove myself, uh, I've been being messed with like by something, by, by a fallen angel that has more, uh, makes Tiamat look like a baby. I don't know who it is, I don't have a name for it, but uh, give you a couple examples. And I don't want to say too much, you know, negative things, let you know what they're doing. But like I haven't slept in a couple of days. I'm really, really tired and exhausted. So. You know, I'm, uh, I finally fall asleep for like 10, 15 minutes, and I start to hold my little girl. And all of a sudden, my little girl notice her head starts to morph, and she starts to get like a a, a lizard type head. And I start, I get really scared, and I like drop her on the ground. I'm like, what's going on? And the next, thing you know, they go all crazy on us, and uh, I wake up, and on my bed, I'm laying on my side, my left side, wide awake, and I try to move. I can't move. He's holding me down. He's he's on my back. I feel him on my back. I hear him in my ears, <laughs> like like chipping his teeth and all that, <laughs> like an animal. And uh, I'm sorry for the the bad uh, sound effects there, but uh, on my back can't move. I'm you know I'm praising God and I'm casting out in the name of Jesus Christ and I'm praying and you know doing this forever till I finally was able to move. So by that time, you know, I'm laying on my back. By the time I praise the Lord for a long while, a while trying to get him to go away and. Then I get on my back and uh, I go to fall asleep and then I start to feel weight pushing down on my bed. Like, oh gosh, here it comes again. So I'm trying to get on my bed and then I feel something grab my foot. Then I feel something pinch my arm and my back. Then I'm like, oh no. So I'm sitting there, guys, and I'm rebuking in the name of Jesus Christ for like, I, I, I tried to do it to, like to bug him the, the heck out of him like maybe a couple hundred times probably. And um. And I didn't know if they were just rebuked and one would leave and another would come back. And one would leave, one would come back, one would leave, one would come back, or they just didn't care. So I'm sitting there rebuking, rebuking, and uh, I ended up finally, you know, after, when I'm rebuking guys in the name of Jesus Christ over and over and over, finally it was like I, was, I could tell they were getting really mad. And my bed would like, like my bed would like shake more, hell, like it would start shaking, like stop, like stop calling on Jesus Christ. But I wouldn't. I just kept, I just kept doing it and kept doing it, you know, and uh. Finally, I would do it, do it, and then I wouldn't get no bed shake, and we get no noise. I'm like, all right, I can finally go to sleep now. Uh, so here I go again and try to get to sleep, and, uh, and I haven't got really no sleep yet, to tell you the truth. Um, so then, so then the next thing happened, guys. I, I don't know. This this story is is something else. I'm uh, I'm I'm getting brought through all these different scenes of. Uh, at this point, I don't know if this is God's dream and then they come in at the end to mess it up or if this whole thing was a bad dream. I'm not sure. At the beginning, I see the concentration camps, guys. I see the killing. I see them. Uh, I don't think they call them that. They call them. Uh, I don't know what they call them. They call them uh, right down somewhere. They were basically concentration. The kill camps or something like that. They were people were going on with their everyday life. You know, people were shooting each other. Uh, they had these camps. The football was still going. People were playing, still playing football. Uh, and even though they had these camps, concentration camps, people were getting slaughtered. The Christians were getting slaughtered. They still were playing football, doing their thing, going to rodeos, doing this and that. But, you know, back there we got a kill camp. Back there we got a kill camp. Whatever kind of camp they did it in. And so for some reason, I start riding on a horse. My stepdad and we're riding really, really fast and get away from all that. And uh, my stepdad tells me to turn around. And for some reason, I have, I have babies, more babies in my hands. I don't know why. And so we turn around and, and a bunch of his friend is over there. And a guy I know, and he's getting beat to death. He was getting beat to death by these crazy guys. So we get out and uh, it's getting like nighttime. And 
As I go to beat my uh, I kind of my that's my stepdad. I love my stepdad, so I go uh, I'll go run out and um, even though he never been there for me, you know, I still love him because he kind of raised me, I guess. So I jump out to protect him and um, so, he, he, we kind of see the guy on the ground getting beat to death and nobody cares. I'm looking for my stepdad. I got babies in my arms. I don't know who I did who the babies were for. And then all of a sudden it goes, the scene changes real fast, but it's the same scene, but it, it goes from dark to, to to daylight and then two of my cousins are standing in front of me then I look at them and I said I said the spirit like you know the spirit comes to me guys and the Holy Ghost tells me something's wrong I say this isn't right I see this not right I, and I see my, I see my usual line how do you feel about Jesus Christ the son of the living God and then they kicked me out of the dream okay they kicked me out they cannot stand that they cannot stand that and at this time as I get kicked out I feel them all around my bed. So I'm holding my arm, so I'm holding my left side, my right side, my foot. Just every which direction. I feel I felt like I was in a circle and they were just all holding me down. So I was, wasn't really scared, guys. I was, I should, I should rebuke them, kick them away. I rebuke them, kick them away. It's just more of an inconvenience than anything because I'm not afraid. I know why they're here. I asked for more testing. And if that's what they, if that's what can happen to me, if that gives me glory in the next life, great. If they can kill me, let them kill me. You know, great to die for God. Wow, there is no greater reward than to die for your friends, right? So, so I was just trying to make the point, guys, that uh, indeed, indeed, uh, I got my, my wish. Um, I'm in way greater trials than I was before. But I was seeing the concentration camps, guys, and they are not good. They are not good. People were living their life as if, 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 as if it was a normal thing for them to murder Christians in these camps. It's not normal. It's not normal at all. You know, and the babies, you saw the babies, they look weird, man. They, they look like they are ne Nephilim, man. They, they look like a rounded bottom part of their faces around, but their heads kind of indented in like the serpent, like transhumanisms, like the, the mix between humans and a... a, a Whatever they mix it with, repti reptilian, like a reptilian child, which is what it looked like. But it looked almost human. I'd also like to reconfirm that, be more pacific. Uh, when I said I, I saw major earthquakes happening in um, California, I wasn't pacific. Uh, what I was specifically told, and I had to correct myself and say this, because I heard Southern California. And I kind of had a little confirmation of my own. Because uh, a lady had had a vision or something uh, I read yesterday. I was online and she said that she saw uh, what was about to happen. That she said she saw that a, a asteroid was about to hit Southern California. When I heard that, I was like, hmm, what are the chances? Because isn't, isn't Southern California like the, the least active of you know of California with with, with with earthquakes? Usually it's like center to top uh, California. So that was two confirmations in that. So heck, I mean, who knows? An asteroid might cause the earthquakes that happen there. Um, also, I'd like to say that, uh, you know, if you guys have been following along, uh, I got a confirmation on bleachers. Uh, a lot of my dreams, if you guys read, have bleachers. And we're always sitting in bleachers. Well, this lady named, uh, I was watching her video called uh, Mary Baxter, I think her name is. She uh, she was saying, she well, I don't know if it's true or not, guys, but she has these heavenly visits a few times or visions or whatever. And, and God names will show her around and stuff like that. At least that's what they say. And then she says that when she was in heaven... That there were bleachers there and the babies would get on the bleachers. And I've seen the bleachers, probably like 10 dreams of mine already, and visions where I'm up in the bleachers just sitting there. Don't know what the heck we're doing in bleachers. I saw bleachers at the wedding supper. I saw bleachers that, uh, up in heaven just waiting for some kind of big audience thing. And um, I saw a lot of bleachers up in heaven. So she said that she saw bleachers up there. Because that's something like you wouldn't normally f find up in heaven, right? Oh, bleachers like a high school or a football stadium. That's bleachers. You would, that's not something you relate to heaven. But that's something that I've got confirmed through my own dreams and visions with other people's visions now. Uh, but I do have uh, a couple shorter dreams. And I'm going to share one of the shorter dreams with you guys today. And I'm going to share the other one tomorrow. Because if I keep being attacked like this, guys, what they're going to do is they're going to try to keep me awake. Mess with me all night. Discourage me from getting my messages out to you guys. They don't want any of you saved. They don't want any of you baptized. They don't want any of you to call on Jesus Christ to rebuke demons. They don't want you to tell your friends that and your friends tell somebody else that they don't want us going to heaven. Guys, and they're doing this so hard. You know the rapture's going to happen. I wouldn't be surprised if it was tonight or tomorrow night. That's how, that's how soon it is, guys. It's like soon. And they are going all out to stop this. 
They are going all out. So we must put away the petty things. Put away the things that are taking us from 100% submitting to our God. Now is the time. Now is the time to show God you love Him. How do you show Him you love Him? You love Him by obedience. You know, obedience is the first law in heaven. Obedience. Show Him you love Him by keeping His commandments. Now, one of the small, two days ago, uh, when I had, like, you guys prayed for me, and I had, like, a night or two to, like, have dreams. And that's another reason, too, guys, they, they try to stop me from having dreams, because they know that uh, I'm about to have some cool ones coming up, because we're so close to the rapture. So they try to stop that and keep me up all night long. Well, when I was able to get a couple in, this is a cool little dream I had. It was about, it's weird, it was about a dance. Yeah, this, it, some of these are turning out to be more like riddles, almost. Not riddles, but, um, not metaphors, but how, kind of how the Lord spoke. Um... I had a sports car, I had a young Philly horse, a cow, and a dirt bike. <laughs> okay, in this dream. There was a huge dance going on, guys. Uh, I just call it the dance. I mean, it's what's uh, it's easier. So there was a huge dance. This is a dream. There was a huge dance that was going to happen uh, at night during a festival. I was prepared for this dance. While at the same time, watching my family steal all the important stuff that ever, that ever were important to me, which they do in real life, too, that meant so much to me. In this dream too, they were stealing the precious items that I've ever belonged to me while I was trying to prepare for this dance. In this dance, well, it does make sense, right, guys? I am preparing for the wedding supper of the Lamb right now, and they are stealing from me all the time. Okay, so that, that makes perfect sense. Just to get that interpretation on that. So anyway, uh, I owned this 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 young, beautiful filly horse, and my uncle took off with her and rode down a road with her. And she was too young to even ride, but he, you know, he's gonna ride her too hard and probably break her. He's my uncle's a wino, you know. I ain't gonna say his name nothing like that, cause he's. But he, uh, I love him to death, though. Love him to death. Just uh, has those little problems, and anyway, and then I have a nice cow too, but that got taken off. Somebody took off that down the road, and they stole it from me. Somebody in my family, because they wanted to milk it, and they wanted to get the, uh, the money for it. And just kind of steal the money, and then I noticed I had a dirt black. I noticed, that, and I look up to the distance, and all these things are trying to uh, be obstacles to stop me from getting to this dance. So I look at, we are down the road and I see a desert and I see my brother, he has stole my dirt bike. And I see him abusing my bike, jumping down hills, uh, going up and down, just, just, just getting all dirt in the bike, you know, wear and tearing it. And uh, really, they're all, my family is trying to stop me from getting to this, this wedding supper dance, right? Uh, but I, okay, so, but I could see him way off, like I said, and it was kind of annoying me, but I really wanted to get to this dance. Um... So, so uh, yeah, so, and another thing happened is, I, as I was trying to get somewhere, I realized that my car had been stolen. I had a sports car, a nice, nice car, and it was stolen. But, I know who stole it, and I catch up to him, and I have, and I have to fight him for my, for my favorite car back. His sister saw us fighting, kind of tried to break us up a little bit, but they didn't have a choice at the end, they had to give me my car back. Um, I did have a hotel room for this beautiful dance and this thing that I was going to go on this night. Uh, but I was kicked out of it because of some stupid reason. Uh, they needed to rent earlier. I don't know. This, you know, dreams are a dream. I don't know. They had to move me rents. So I had to get a, another hotel room and I did. So this is another obstacle. So this chaos going on. You know, the whole dream was about chaos. But me trying to make it to this, uh, this wedding supper dance. So they give me this room, so that's cool. They gave me a room anyway, and had a, so I had another place to stay and all that for the dance and the festival. So anyway, I start to run down, run down, run down this waterlogged road, guys. And water, we can relate water to a lot of stuff, you know. This waterlogged road, I got into an argument about my cow, try to get my cow back. Uh, they're fighting with me, trying to get, I get my cow, get my cow sent back home. Then they almost got uh, my young horse killed by opening the gates to the highway. So I had to help jump and close the gates. So I'm trying to get all my possessions in play before this, uh, before this dance. Really, I probably shouldn't, huh? If I think about it like this, I should have left all that there, and the dance would have been the most important. So I should have did. But I think I thought in my mind I had still had a lot of time. Just go ahead and get your stuff together. And I had to get to her uh, back, and I didn't have the time. Oh yeah, I had to get my dirt bike back, but I didn't know I didn't have time. I had to get to the wedding. I'd have to wait till another day my dirt bike. Um, so, but while I was running back from the horses and the, and the cows to get back home on a flooded street of water, I ran into this beautiful blonde girl and her friends getting ready for the dance. This, uh, beautiful blonde girl and her friends. This is probably the, the bride and maybe my eternal companion, I'm hoping here. Um, they were really trying to, uh, they going to the dance too. 
and they did they didn't have a place to put their things so they wanted to put their things in in my place and I, and I was like sure sure I said you can come put your stuff up there you know and uh then all I could think about is it ends on this guys which is really strange it ended on all I could think about was is the house clean so as as the bride and his other girls going into this house to go to this dance all I could think about was is the house clean is the house clean and the end of the this, this short dream. So, and so, am I thinking about guys? Is the house clean, or am I thinking about, am I clean? Are we clean? Is the bride clean? The dance is about to start. Are you clean? Do you have spots on you still? Do you still have them gray gray areas I talked to all you guys about about getting rid of? Because if you still got them spots, and it make your light and it makes your light go out. And you don't make it to the dance, you're gonna feel horrible, guys. Believe me, I, guys. I'm telling you the truth. Please, please listen to me. The rapture is so imminent, so imminent, you have no idea. If you have the dreams and visions I have, and the feelings I have, you would know time is up. Time is up, brothers and sisters. Put away petty things. Put away anything that takes time away from your God. I don't care if it's your work, money. I don't care if it's your spouse, kids. I'm not. I'm not saying you coach you spend your time with your family, but I'm saying you pick God first. God has always got to be at the head of your family triangle. It can't be your your wife. It can't. The, it can't be the husband But you got God at the top And you got the wife and the husband on each side You pit God first We are so close And I mean I, I break down this computer sometimes and I cry Because I love all you guys so much And I hope I'm touching the life of one person at least One person Then I start to cry thinking to myself Man maybe I am Maybe that's why I'm getting attacked so bad right now I went to my Try to visit my mom who I haven't talked to in a long time And uh, um, And her boyfriend was over there and he says, man, what are all them bruises on your arms? I said, bruises? I looked down and I had handprint bruises all over my arms, guys. And I said, well, I don't think you probably wouldn't believe me if I told you anyway. And and I told him I've been being attacked and held down in my bed for weeks now. And uh, they look at it like I'm all mental, you know. I'm like, so, you know, people like that, they won't believe you no matter what you say. But I still preach to him. I still told him that the rapture was about to happen. And uh, I tell him I love him and I'm, you know, I, I try to do my best. Time is short. Time is short, brothers and sisters. Time is short. It's time right now for you to choose. You going to serve God? Or are you going to serve the world? Are you going to serve God? Or are you going to serve your own your own worldly ambitions? Are you going to worry about getting them extra outfits to look good, to go party? Are you going to worry about getting that couple hundred extra dollars to go to the mall, to go shopping? Or, or maybe you might spend some time with your family or take a less fortunate out to eat. These are the times right now that will try men's and women's souls. Brothers and sisters, I, I, uh, I prophesy to you that Jesus will be here very soon. Sooner than you think. And we all think it's very soon. He loves us. He loves us very much. And I know that's why his messengers are being attacked so badly right now. They want to stop this. They want to stop me. But brothers and sisters, I love you too much. I'll go without sleep all month. I'll go without sleep. If I'm doing one of you good, if I'm making one of you choose right over wrong and choose the rapture over not making the rapture because of something you might have heard me say or of me giving you encouragement if I did that that's worth me not having sleep right now because that means I will meet you in the clouds in the air with the Savior and we will be the joint heirs with God for all eternity and there's no there's no more crying there'll be no more shedding tears once there once you once you shed your tears when you first get there we'll be so happy afterwards guys and guys it's almost here it's almost here brothers and sisters so rise up Rise up. Do something about it. Be humble about it. 
Always dictate what you say by the Spirit. Don't worry about church traditions and how your church taught you to do this and how your church told you to do that. Go off the Spirit. Because believe it or not, most churches got a lot of stuff wrong. Don't always go off your own interpretation of your dreams. Whenever God gives you a dream, it's like, tell it how, how, tell it how God gave it to you. Because that interpretation is correct. When you start adding your own interpretation based off what your church teaches, it's going to be wrong 90% of the time. Well, I hope you guys like this video. Please subscribe and uh, like like it down there. And, and please, guys, uh, if there's anything I can do to help you, um, if there's anything you want to talk about, or, you know, please write in, in the comment boxes and tell me what's going on. And, uh, and I just hope that you guys are doing well. I pray for you guys all the time. Everybody on this channel, I pray for you all the time. And I hope that I can at least help one of you, one of you make that important decision in your life to choose Christ over this world because we are out of here we are out of here have faith have faith guys and believe me for those of you who doubt the rapture let me testify to you that I am wide awake in here wide awake in hearing them and being held down in my bed I'm not sleeping it's not no sleep uh, whatever they call that I am wide awake being held down by demons trying to get me not to co preach the gospel to you guys so you're never supposed to use uh, demons for your faith but guys if they're if I'm wide awake and people stuff's holding me down guys that means there's a devil right and if there's a devil you know there's a God and if there's a God there's gonna be a rapture there's gonna be a rapture we, we all feel it we've been feeling it have faith have faith stay strong brothers and sisters and I say these things in the name of Jesus Christ amen You've come in the final days. Oh, when God has held you in reserve for nearly 6,000 years, you have been with you for a marked generation. A marked generation. A marked generation. The birth at this particular time was for God the has saved for the final inning of an army. You, you, you must be prepared to meet your God. Oh, youth of the noble birth. You're part of the Lord's royal army. An army. There are things for each of you to do. That no one else can do. You will preserve as well as your special. You. 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 Me? <laughs>